Hi, my name is Paul Weimer, and I'm the Chair of Performing Arts here at the University of Southern Indiana. And I'm also the resident scenic designer for the theater department. Before I came to USI, I lived and worked in New York City for 30 years as an assistant scenic designer or associate scenic designer on 21 Broadway shows and nine national tours. The starting point for any show that I'm working on is of course to read the script to get as much out information as I can out of it from the playwright first. Then I do visual research. That helps me put images connect them to the ideas of the play. Now, sometimes that you could, will be able to see that research very directly when it shows up on stage, and sometimes not at all, but it's very important for me to start from real research before I go into designing the show. The next step is a ground plan, which is like a map that helps me figure out if the various scenes of the show can be staged on this environment that I'm creating and therefore that the director can then use that same map, that same grand plan, to do his or her work. Finally, I'm ready to have a conversation with the director showing research, grand plans, sketches, models, anything that can communicate my ideas to the director and in turn draw ideas out of the director. Some directors are very visual and some are not. So it's trying to figure out the best way to collaborate in order to come up with the, the ideal solution, scenic environment for the show. When I started working on Ride the Cyclone, I was trying to figure out from the material and from research what the world of the play is and where are they and who are these characters and how did they end up here? Of course, Ostensibly, they ended up there because they all died in a tragic accident at an amusement park. But for the purposes of the play, we have to decide, make decisions about what the environment is that they find themselves in. Is it some place they want to be? Is it some place they want to get away from? And we also, I also have to think about what are the needs of the show? We have to have places for movement and we need to have a place for the fortune telling machine who's sort of the narrator of the show. And in our case, since we're on a thrust stage and don't have an orchestra pit, I have to think about where am I going to put the orchestra as well. So they became part of the scenery as well, sort of parked to one side for the show. Another sort of idea of the show is that they are each presenting a musical number or an explanation of their life or why they should be brought back to life because of course that's the ultimate goal is that one of them is being given the opportunity to go back to the land of the living. So it's, it has a very theatrical bent to it. And that's why in the set, I provided a kind of proscenium with a show curtain in which they could perform in and around. And that curtain is also used as a back projection screen for the show when we see flashbacks of their lives as they're growing up, which is lends a very poignant uh, sense to these characters. Finally, I really thought about the color and the texture of the set. I was trying to give a very neutral set so that the actors in their uni school uniforms would pop out from in front of it and also give the lighting designer a lot of variety uh, for lighting and uh, for mood and shadows and textures. And I think that with that, and also elements of the set that light up, we have a lot of variety for a show that really takes place in one set. I believe USI provides the best of both worlds for young student designers and technicians. We are a state school, and like other state schools, we have state-of-the-art facilities, and we are quite affordable. But many state schools are large and undergraduates often get lost because the graduate students are the priority. We don't have graduate students here, so our undergrads are our priority. And like a private school, we provide individual attention and many opportunities for hands-on learning. We believe that this provides both great value and great training 
for our students, and I hope that you'll think about joining us here at USI.